is Honorable Chine do Benjamin Obidigwe. Anambra East and West, Anambra States. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the motion on the floor moved by Honorable Faleke is a motion that will catapult this country, if implemented, to an enviable height. It's very obvious. It is very, very much obvious that two thirds of the problems ranging from social ills to other things, including the Boko Haram and everything that is bedeviling this country, all has a link with unemployment and lack of proper education. Mr. Speaker, but the question that's beckoning for an answer is whether we are in a country that is ready to salvage the problem of unemployment. What are the modus? What is the preparation like? We have witnessed motion upon motions, even in the Senate. Everybody shouting unemployment. What are we doing? Are we ready as a country to challenge what is facing us? Mr. Speaker, it's no, there's no gain saying that all the um, industries are moribund because it is very obvious. Not only the industries listed in this uh, motion, there are other industries. But if you are giving bailouts to these industries, Mr. Speaker, my question goes, who are the true owners of these industries? Are they private industries or government industries? If we are giving bailout, how, what are the guarantee that at the end of the day, this industry will keep on running effectively. Mr. Speaker, in as much as I am supporting the motion, but the truth is that whatever policy with Nigeria initiates, there must be other angles that will truncate the policies and put other things behind we don't see. At the end of the day, corruption. Everybody will be shouting corruption. This is how it begins. Mr. Speaker, this motion is very timely. We need to support the industries to work so that they will employ the teaming Nigerian youth who are graduates. But also, very important that we need to know the true owners of those industries we are going to give bailout to. Because the bailout already given to the states, we are seeing what is going on some of the states are being asked to pay back, some are refusing that they will not pay back. Mr. Speaker, very important is that for any industry to move forward, or to, for the, any industry to develop further, or for the country to be very attractive for industry. There are other issues, factors, very important. Ordinarily, our population in this country is supposed to be a gain. It's supposed to be a benefit. But what is the turnaround of events? We are now in turmoil because the population continues to rise and we don't have industries where we can absorb the graduates. One of the major issues that challenge industry in Nigeria is lack of power, whether you like it or not. Even you are in our private houses, if you run your house on daily basis with generator, check your wage bill at the end of the month you will understand what it is. For industry to thrive very well in Nigeria, we must make sure that we have our power intact. Power is very important. Mr. Speaker, in as much as this very bill is very important, and those, this very motion is very important and highly supported by almost all of us, Mr. Speaker, there is urgency that we look into how to tackle the issue of power 
so that the power will be suitable. We are not surprised why other, even the industries in Nigeria close down and they run to Ghana and our neighboring countries because they have stable power. Mr. Speaker, thank you and I throw my support for the bill, but I, I reserve only two issues. Who are the true owners of the industry? Are they private industries? Are they government industries? And also, we need to tackle the issue of power. Thank you for the initiator of the motion. Thank you very much.